One of the biggest obstacles that companies face when they're in transformation is the people. It's always the people, because if you think about it, you've got these CEOs, you've got these chief operating officers, you've got these CFOs, they're capable, they're confident, they know exactly what to do, but then these things happen. They're trying to get along with each other, and then they start to trigger each other, and sometimes you get behavior like when we were eight years old, and it's we're back to being on the playground and fighting for turf. And so instead of figuring out where are we going to go and how are we going to get there, they're tending to fight with each other, and so that is the biggest obstacle when people can figure out how to disrupt themselves, when they can figure out how to advance, when they can take the approach that I am always the problem when things aren't working, then you start to be in a situation where you can transform because the world is full of disruption. But if you will disrupt yourself first, if you will take responsibility for your own behavior, you are going to be able to pull together and make it through that transition, that transformation. From there, what you want to do is recognize that every time you're trying to do something new, you're effectively jumping to a brand new S-curve of learning. And it's your S-curve learning. It's a place that you want to go. It's a mountain that you want to climb. And so you're saying to all the people who work for you, let's go climb that mountain. But right now, it's not their mountain, it's only yours. And so the, one of the ways you get that buy-in is help them see that mountain over there and make it their mountain that they want to climb. And so now you've said, here's what my vision is, I've articulated it for you, but I've articulated it in such a way that the people who work with you are saying, you know what, that's not your mountain, that's my mountain too, let's go climb it together.